I ended up actually deciding to just um, run to the ER. I quarantined myself for 14 days. I did not hang out with any friend. I did not hang out with my family. I did nothing until I got my test results. Because it's not a joke, you know? It's all fun and games until it's you, like oh, I just need you to know I'ma always stay a blue strip. Keep the shit on honey, yeah. Cause loyalty don't cost nothing. I'ma hold it down, girl. I hope that's worth something. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about why I've been MIA off of social media and YouTube. Um, I'm sorry if I keep looking that way. It's because I got a new camera and the flip screen is on this side. All right, you guys. So as you've seen by the title, it is a little... Um, it's a serious topic before this whole situation happened honestly I was taking precautions I was wearing my mask um, and I was like you know making sure to always sanitize and stuff but I was never taking it to the extreme as I did everybody was out making TikToks about it and it was all fun and games and at some point honestly I started to not believe it I was like oh what if this is like set up you know what i mean like what if it's not real but oh, one day we had a family member that kept coming to our house he kept coming with his friends here and um, i'm not gonna say who it is he decided to come over for his birthday and celebrate with his friends at our place and at the lake and then they slept over and then like a week later that same that same relative came over with like more of our relatives and they were just hanging out in our kitchen. We were all having fun. We bought pizza. We were all chilling, vibing and stuff. Then I guess they were going to sleep over. And before we went to sleep, he actually ends up telling us, like, he said, oh, by the way, you guys, the two friends of mine that slept over tested positive for COVID. I was like, what? You whole ass just hung out with us. You whole ass just spent so much time with us. We're all hugging, laughing, you know, eating, vibing, having a good ass time. And he says, two of my homies that slept over tested positive. I literally lost my shit. You guys, like, the next morning, that shit hit me. So I'm not going to lie, you guys, that first night when he said that, I kind of took it lightly, you know, and then it wasn't until the next morning that I woke up and I said, what the heck, like, these family members hang out with their family members from the Bay Area. So I started flipping out and I said, my parents, like, <laughs> if my parents catch anything, I literally will lose my mind, like, as soon as they thought that. I was like, yo, like, I was not taking it lightly no more. I literally ran to the stores with my other cousin who lives here, and we went on a hunt for gloves, for, um, for Lysol. We went on a hunt for sanitizers, for anything, everything and anything that we could find to disinfect the whole house, because honestly, you guys, just like a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people not take it serious and a lot of people that are saying like it's a joke and it's funny and this, this and that. But then actually a lot of people that I know of have relatives who have literally passed away to the Rona. So... I started freaking out. Like if you have the Rona, don't hang out with your friends. Like stop hanging out with them. Or if you have... Like, if you know someone by you that got the Rona, like, like, love people, like, love your friends, love your family, love yourself, and don't go out spreading it. Like, but it wasn't until I thought about mi familia that I literally was like, we ain't doing that over here. So, me and my cuñada actually ended up looking for, we tried to look for COVID testing sites, and literally, you guys, everything was booked, right aids. Um, like Rite Aids, Walgreens, places that were doing it, like hospitals, 
all of them were booked I ended up actually deciding to just um, run to the ER so if I find a little video I did record a little video of me heading to the ER so if I find it you guys I will post it but you guys I literally ran to the hospital and I was like I'm not playing with this like I gotta know my results now cuz I ain't trying to pass it on to nobody so I quarantined myself for 14 days I did not hang out with any friend I did not hang out with my family I did nothing until I got my test results and yeah you guys I, it literally took me so long to get my test results back I kept hearing that they were giving them back really fast but I didn't get my fast I heard people saying they were getting their tests within three days but I literally took hella long to get mine and my cuñal and my brother ended up getting their test done too they ended up getting it somewhere else um because they didn't want to go to the ER to go do it but I literally was paranoid and I said I'm not gonna wait weeks to get a test no I'm just gonna like go get tested now so yeah you guys so I ended up going to go get tested at the ER which I know is not the greatest thing but I was literally freaking out like there was somebody at my house sleeping that tested positive for COVID. Like, I flipped. Are you guys ready for my test results? My test results came back negative, and I literally felt such a relief like I felt such a relief <laughs> like I was so happy because I was so scared and you know to like potentially like pass it on to my parents especially because they're older I was just so scared you guys but thank god that we don't have it and that we're not spreading it nowhere my brother and his girlfriend got their test results a couple days after that or a week after that I believe and they also tested the negatives. I was so happy to find that out. But I literally was not letting anybody come to our house even after that. I was like, nope, nobody's coming to our house. If you have not been tested for COVID, you're not entering our house. Doorknobs are going to be wiped. If you've hung out with people whose friends, friends have had it, um, no. No, thank you. Um, yeah, no, it's all like... We're supposed to love each other, love your family, love your friends enough to literally, like, protect them. Protect them by being, like, super, super, like, careful, you know, actually following guidelines for COVID-19 and not thinking this is a joke because it's not a joke, you know? It's all fun and games until it's you. I literally have just been paranoid and that's why I literally got off social media and I've just been taking care of myself. This pandemic is really like hard, you know, like it's really taken a toll on I feel like so many people and so many people's lives and I just I hope all of you guys are like taking it easy, you know what I mean? Like being precautious, you know, um, practicing self-love, self-care, um, because it's very important in these times that literally everything is shut down, you know? But yeah, you guys, once that happened, I realized that I actually needed to focus more anyways. So I used this time to study and try to catch up on a lot of things and just like reflect, you know, and just get off social media for a bit because social media itself was getting a little tough, you know. Just so much was going on that I literally was like, I think I need like to just focus on, you know, like on myself on my real estate exam on just a lot of things i felt like i just needed to recenter myself again that's honestly why i got off social media not because i tested positive for covid because i didn't but um because i really need to focus and i need to pass my real estate exam this time you guys hopefully i passed it so i literally suck at studying so if one of you guys has your ways of studying i love to hear other people's way of studying i literally have called so many friends and asked them like hey how do you study i asked my family i'm not even joking you guys because when it comes to school i literally suck like i just can't i just can't concentrate no matter what i do i just can't concentrate so i'm really hoping that i pass it this time you guys but 
prayed for me it's september 9th you know? so yeah you guys i'm just so thankful and grateful that i don't have covid and none of my family does that we're all super healthy and we are living our best lives guys so that was my scare and that was <sighs> that was what happened these past two months that i've been off social media just been focusing on myself and on study well actually i think it's been a month and a half but yeah i hope this video is not all over the place but if it is i'm sorry <laughs> but anyways you guys that is actually it for today's video I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you guys want more story times make sure to let me know by commenting down below and um if you've had a covid scare like comment it down below sis and let me know i want to hear your story i want to hear what's going on because covid is so 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 real and we need to be more careful we honestly just need to be more careful um okay you guys so <sighs> that's actually it for today's video I'm going to miss you guys already, okay? But, you guys, I'm actually going to try to post every two days. So, make sure to subscribe down below right now. And turn the bell on. Because I'm having a whole bunch of videos coming your way for this month of September. Just subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to your girl's channel. Let's make it to 1,000. Um, but, yeah, without further ado... I guess I have to wrap this video up. You know what I'm saying. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. I just need you to know I'm always stay a blue strip. Keep the shit on honey. Yeah, cause loyalty don't cost nothing. I'ma hold it down, girl. I hope that's worth something. I missed you guys. Peace out.